Sydney Cooper Country Men Road Test. The oxymoron from Oxford's ready now for all critics, and after our first drive of the 2011 Mini Cooper Countryman, we can tell you that the alarm bells should be silenced. Turn off the emergency alert system. Put the red phone down. The Countryman's still a Mini in feel and pedal, even though there's barely anything related to the current Mini Cooper other than the name badges. Driving thrills don't often come from a 120 horsepower, 1.6 liter four cylinder, but that's what Mini brought to our Atlanta leg of this year's Mini Takes the States rally. And that's what we drove from downtown's W Hotel with a police escort no less into the Tennessee hinterlands around the roller coaster ride that is the tail of the dragon. With Mini six speed automatic strapped to the four cylinder and lots of hilly ascents to tackle. I didn't ever feel out of step. The 4 puts out decent to work fairly low in the power band, and the automatic comes with the sport button that speeds up shifts and holds gears longer. I extracted every ounce of power out of the Mini 4, pulling out of an Exxon at the base of a hill, squeezing the throttle it so hard I waited for the seeds to come out of the exhaust. Nothing. Other than some ancillary wine from parts waiting a final NVH tuning, the Countryman's powertrain poured out everything it had which, according to many estimates, would equal a 0 to 60 miles per hour shot of about 10 seconds. With that mediocre time in mind, many also promises the Countryman will have the best fuel economy in its class. Rolling over the sinews of the small key mountains, the Countryman reveals a little more of its upsized feel. The ride quality is a dead giveaway to its genealogy. First gen Mini Cooper drivers probably share stories about filling replacements and dental work, especially if they ordered the big 18 inch wheels. Those 18 inchers are standard on the Countryman and yet, it's pliable on most road surfaces, with amazingly little suspension and tire noise, something you'd also sense immediately in any Cooper. The Countryman's media electric power steering mimics some real responsiveness and weights up nicely in deep plunging curves. BMW does EPS better than just about anyone else, outside of the Volkswagen Golf. The Minis brakes bite quickly and answer pressure with the right counter pressure. Our car didn't have it, but the Cooper S Countryman is available with a permanent all for all wheel drive system with an electronically activated differential that splits power 50 hours 50 minutes in normal driving, and up to 100% rear when traction fails in front. An electronic limited slip differential is standard. With the full complement of safety gear, airbags, stability control, and a host of electronic goodies like USB connectivity, available Bluetooth, and the new mini connected system that controls Pandora and other mobile audio iPhone apps, the Countryman's checked off most of the critical boxes it needs to appeal to an older, more married, more be children crowd than the cooperates it's catered to for almost a decade. By the time new Countryman owners are minted late this year, officially, it's on sale January 12th, but cars should trickle into showrooms before 2011, many expects the new crossover to account for more sales than anything it makes, other than the Cooper hatchback. Where the Countryman suffers, obviously, is in cargo area. With all the seats filled on a long trip, someone's going to be doing laundry before they come home. With a couple of duffels tucked inside, the Countryman's 12.2 cubic feet of luggage space will barely swallow a couple of water bottles and a camera bag. Many says there are 40 cubic feet of space when you fold the rear seats forward, which sounds not much larger than the cargo area behind the third row seats in the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Pricing in the U.S. for the base 1.6-liter gasoline unit with front-wheel drive is expected to start at around $29,000, while the range-topping Cooper S Countryman with all-wheel drive should be priced somewhere around the $34,000 mark. A high-performance John Cooper Works Edition seems to be off the menu, but even in base form, the Mini Cooper Countryman has proven out at least one thing, there's more German in the Brits than they dare admit.